sounds like a broken juice mixer that like is shredding like rock. Well, like, good morning, you guys. Welcome to another toy vlog. Today, I'm gonna go fix that juice mixer sounding thing, whatever the hell's got going on. Mark's gonna tell me. He's like literally like fix it, Felix. He could fix anything, so. My dashboard right now, guys, is literally like a Christmas tree. Look. I got a check engine light on, I have whatever that exclamation point is. I got my brake pad wear light on, my uh, engine's falling apart. I got at least three more lights that you can get on. Go back and when you collect them all. Okay, so while this car is being done, we're gonna hop in Brandon's car. We're gonna head to Lamborghini North LA because my brakes sound like literally the little girls screaming at me. So oh my God. <laughs> We're with a real celebrity wow. here. We are with a real celebrity here, guys, in Beverly Hills. What do you have to say, Alex Troy, about the girls screaming at you as they drove by? No comment. No comment. Lamborghini. Yep, those are good. These things have some meat into it. Look at it. Look at the size of my hand versus the brake pad. This thing is so heavy. Listen to this most ridiculous thing you'll ever hear in your entire life. I was just going through my invoice, right? Adhesive something is $60, and I look through it, and there are these four little stickers. What are these, Mark? They go between the piston and the pad. And okay. what are they made out of scotch tape? These four are six, $60, which means one of these is $15. I've never felt so ripped off than now. How many pistons are in your calipers? There are six. So why did you only get four? I don't know. This was a Ziploc bag it came in. And they only came with four? There came, there's four in there. 60 bucks down the drain. How many piston calipers does that car have? But eight. So how many of them are in there? There's four. a staggering four. So you put them in between? You're looking at me like I'm gonna apply some kind of logic to that. There is no <laughs> logic that explains why there's only four of those. Oh, that's your uh, fancy piston pushing tool. You don't mess around. When you're, uh, you can just use a screwdriver, honestly. Uh, not against the carbon rotor, bro. That's the before, and there's after. Well, actually, this is before, and that's after. Yeah, there's still like 50% left in these things. So I guess this is the Lamborghini's way of um, making money on parts, is to make their brake pad sensor go off really fast. No, the reason why is because you told me that light was on a month ago. So it's just not letting you get around Daddy. to it. So it gave you a month warning. <laughs> So this is a Huracan. The front tire is an Audi R8. It's it's oh, it's off of uh, Dave's R8. So you can see still the pink residue all over it. And then the rear wheels are out of a Ferrari FF, right? So Ferrari, Audi, then what's on this side? Oh, this side's still Lamborghini. I have my first bootleg gutter snake. You mad, bro? I don't know. How do you, how am I supposed to take that? Is that a compliment? That's a compliment, right? Yep, it's not there anymore. So the brake pad wear light is gone. I still have a check engine light and that exclamation mark to address. Prognosis is? Hmm? Dude, we're not even kidding. He's actually trying to set the scope of my car. That's not a good noise. Well, that rattling noise, by the way, I don't know if you can hear it. It's literally, I can step back here. It's louder than the car. You still hear the rattling noise. So he's like sticking the stethoscope down there, Dr. Mitch is, and trying to figure out which pulley is making this rabbit hole. We'll make it. Your bearings, the tensioner is a little suspect, and the other one that's on the side, the idler pulley, not too happy. But luckily there's a cream and an ointment. It'll work. Put it on twice a day, be gone by the end of the week. So, luckily, we have a whole new supercharger set straight out of Nate's car. So that is a tensioner pulley. See how Nate's is nice and quiet? You don't hear anything. Nate, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to jack your tensioner and pulley, put it in my car, but I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll get you another one. Yep, that is Nate's car. There's nothing here. Hello? Nate, it's uh, Alex. You sure. can say no if you want, but I still have a question for you. How many, how many followers is it gonna take for you <laughs> for me to jack your, uh, your tensioner pulley if I give you a brand new one by the end of next week? Oh, my supercharger? Yeah. That's fine with me, bro. Just shout my oh, What's your Nate underscore bossy. N-A-T-E underscore B-O-S-S-I. Go follow him because he just saved my life today. 
Yeah, no problem, dog. I'll get you a new one uh, by the end of next week. Mission success. Is it, is it the tensioner that's making the noise or the pulley bearing that's making the noise? Well, we're gonna pull, we're gonna extricate yours right now and find out. Extricate, I like that. The cool thing is we can actually extricate the whole tensioner does without the... Did you just call me Gus? Dude, what? That's the second time. <laughs> All of your years of Lamborghini ownership, I wonder how many times you've taken that panel on. Probably more than I should have. I know VF makes their own tools too. They do. It's special. it's special. So what's that for? That's going to be to remove the belt. Now this is where we have the truss ball. The truss Are you ball. ready? Because in order for me to remove this belt in a reasonable fashion with the minimal amount of aggravation, somebody needs to hold this tensioner open while I stick my hand in the proverbial alligator's mouth. If you twist it, if you turn it, if you do anything other than pull it directly down, it will snap and probably break my finger. Uh, and I won't like that. I don't know how I feel about this right now. He just saved my life today. Without Nate, I wouldn't be driving a car today. Number three, he has the Super Legera. First of all, it's uh, missing a motor, but it's being rebuilt. And it's supercharged by VF Engineering and he just picked up a new S65, and he rides a KTM, so please give him a follow. How many miles does he have on a supercharger? I think he's got feet on this one. I don't think he's got miles. Uh, this thing went to Palm Springs and back. Oh, is that, is that it's right? practically brand new. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, so I'm nowhere near qualified, and I'm not a doctor, so we got Dr. Mesh back over here. He was gonna um, pull that, whatever the thing that is. Mark is uh, climbing. On top of my I'm part. humping, bro. And then, uh, Mitch, no pressure at all, but if you let go of that, apparently uh, Mark will lose his finger. You struggling? It's not fun, is this, Alex. Is this, a, is this a bad time to check my, my gram? Should I start tickling Mitch? Oh, God, no. Oh. <laughs> I feel so helpless just watching Mark struggling. Mark, you should see the way you look like in my rearview mirror right now. Yeah, that's not supposed to slide out like that. Oh. What did you just break? Oh, is, that, is that the broken tensioner? That is the suspect tensioner. It sounds fine. It sounds like this isn't the part, which I've tried to tell you guys, but nobody, nobody listens to El Gutter Snako del Norte. So Dr. Mitch is wrong. We're gonna see. Maybe it's the supercharger's broken. Hmm? Hmm? Please don't, please please don't do that to me. Oh, come on, man. It's, it's not making any loud noises like it was, which means it's probably some other pulley, which means we're probably gonna be here all night, but that's okay because AGX is open 24 hours, right, Mark? Oh yeah, now the camera sees it. So that's not supposed to happen, but... Mm -hmm. No, but you wanna know the best part? What is the best part? We can fix that. Mm. Because Mark Iver can fix So, uh, Nate. You get your tensioner back, that's the good news. But the bad news is we don't need your tensioner anymore. I still I have the pulley that I need to fix. So you're not getting any of the followers, so you can go yourself. I'm kidding. You'll still get the followers, don't worry. Thank you for letting us use your tensioner, even though we didn't need it. And now we're taking the whole car apart again. Hey, that's the one I wanted. Oh, I wanted that one. We got you on our mood light. Oh, I'm too far. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. We got our little mood lighting going on while we work on our cars. You're so romantical, dude. I believe in you. Yeah. It's good because you're walking home if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's three. <laughs> huh. How does this even happen? Dude, that's a that's a clean break. Too. All right, I got it. Woo! You piece of... Listen. The smallest thing can create the biggest problem. So, walking out to my car after dinner. Nice. They wrote this here? Yeah. Oh. Vehicle is subject to be towed for not displaying plates and covering the van. Oh, you're in trouble, man. Okay, it's still making a lot of noise. It's 12.17 uh, in the morning right now. And we thought it was gonna be one pulley that was gonna be the problem. So we just had to switch out one pulley or tensioner or... We changed three pulleys. There are like seven pulleys in the car and all of them are trashed for some reason. So. I don't want to be here until 2 in the morning, although AGX, you know, is open 24 hours. So we're going to come back here tomorrow and uh, fast forward to tomorrow. Now, last night, Mark left a white rag inside my engine bay and almost set my car on fire. What time was you it? You know you almost set my car on fire, right? I know, that was, that was a gift. Oh, wait, hold on, this is yours? Oh, you didn't know that? I didn't. I had it for like over three years. Three years? Original you had an R33? Yeah, original motorized. 
Wow. Horsepower. Can I go in your back seat? This is the first time I've ever in a uh, R33. Back seats on an R33 are probably the most comfortable back seats I've ever been inside. Right hand drive and everything. This is so weird. So what? 817 at the wheels or 817 at the crank? Uh, at the wheels. At the wheels? So this thing makes almost a thousand horsepower. Listen to this noise. Oh my god, my pants are wet. Oh my god. Holy sh I'm not even, I did not expect this thing to be that loud. Pretty sick. Now I want one. Haven't you guys always wondered what's inside one of these trucks? If you don't know what Snap-on is, Snap-on is like pretty much Gucci of tools. Like every tool they have is like ridiculously, ridiculously expensive. And they're high quality. And if you break Snap-on tools, I'll just replace it. No matter if you break it in a hundred years, they have like a lifetime warranty on them. Like how much? Let me tell you something, Leo. How much is this ratchet? Uh, hundred and forty dollars for this ratchet. Snap on is like what every garage has. Like if you notice inside AGX, everything and everything is snap on. Like his green toolbox is like a fifty thousand dollar toolbox. That's insane. Yep. So I just spent eight hundred dollars on a snap on impact wrench. Cool little. Snap-on tool unboxing. Little fancy case. Here's your gun. Twerky. It's like twice as old as I am. This thing, this thing was made when my mom was born. That's crazy. That is crazy. Look at this thing though. It reminds me of the Green Hornet. So, what did we change yesterday? That one that your hand is on. But, which of, which of these are all screwed up? So this is the good one. That we changed yesterday. Yeah. This one oh. has seen better days, and I don't know if the viewers at home can see, but it's dug Whoa. into the case. Yep. This one here is threatening to exit as well. This guy, for whatever reason, seems to be perfectly That guy's chilling. Yeah. I just want to put one thing out there and make it clear that this broken pulley is, oh, more like the bearing, is not a reflection of VF's quality. VF Engineering does not make bearings. They make supercharger kits. Their supercharger kit has never failed on me. It has worked very reliably for the past 40,000 miles on my car. A bearing is not produced by VF Engineering and with my luck, I have four bearings that went out. And it was probably because of improper insulation which it wasn't Mark that installed it, nor was it VF. It was someone else that installed this pulley, but no, this is not a reflection of VF Engineering's uh, product quality. They still make great stuff. I wouldn't plug garbage, and I plug VF in pretty much every single one of my videos, because I really do believe in their product. That thing is, you hear the thing? Old, new, before, after. Wait, you said after for the old one. Yeah, after. Before Alex Choi, after Alex Choi. Oh. Dun da da da! It kind of looks like a Superman ass right there, don't you think? Huh. It's 1.10 a.m. You wanna see? It's pitch black outside, and nobody else is here except for Mark, because Mark is open 24 hours fixing my car. By the way, if you guys own a car and you want it fixed up, you could just show up here at two in the morning because Mark will be here. Let's hear it. Okay, 
We changed every pulley in this car. That's like a new noise. That is a new noise. Oh boy. That is not good. 1.15 a.m. and the car is going back. <laughs> Happening to me. Well, that did the trick, but it only lasts for like three seconds. One of the pulleys is wider than the old one. So we put the wrong pulley in there. There is no other one that can go in there. So they sent us a wrong pulley? It's too wide. And the pulley is sawing the pipe in half. Right now. I might be able to move it out of the way. Hey, I don't hear the noise. Boom! Mark Iver has done it again. The only person that deserves more followers than I do is Mark because I would not have my car if it weren't for Mark. I mean, come on, we're up here two in the morning fixing my car so I can get back on the road to do more crazy stuff tomorrow. Please do me a favor, go follow Mark. Please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next time. <laughs>